Hi everybody, my name is Lily State, and today I will be telling you about the difference of a pass-by value versus a pass-by reference. So, in computer code, we have things called functions. So our first function we have is our main function, which is the chunk of our data and the chunk of what we're going to be talking about today. And then I introduced a new function that I wrote that switches our variable, which is girl, to boy. I said girl is equal to boy. So in first we'll be starting with a pass by value, which here is our function, switch girl. Um, see, it just has a variable name, nothing else with it. So we're gonna, um, I'm going to read through the code and tell you what is the output. So now we have the girl loves to play dress up. And now I'm going to switch and address my function. So now I say the girl loves Barbie. And now I've changed my variable from girl to boy. So my green is my variable. Now it says the child is a boy, which isn't true, but in this function is what is being computed. So now we've completed our function, and we go on to the next sentence. The girl loves wearing tiaras, end of our code. So that in a pass by value. The difference is that the variable only changes inside of our sec second function right here. So now we'll be, I'll go into what a pass by reference is. The main change to tell your computer that you are making a change in your pass by is inside of your code here, you will add, add an and. So, now let's read through the code as a pass by reference. It says, the girl loves to play dress up. And now we switch, go into our function, our switch function. The girl loves Barbies. Girl now equals boy. The child is a boy. So now we're back up here into our main function because our switch function has been completed. And now, every time we have a variable after our function, our switch function inside of our main function, it takes the new variable from the function that has just been completed. So now we'll say boy. In a pass by reference variable, it comes from our, our function code that we have created and now stores it in every single time we use our variable inside of our main code. So, the boy loves to wear tiaras. Thank you.